Hello everyone! Welcome back to Shadow Toys Photography, where today we'll be reviewing the Four Horsemen Mythic Legions Heads Pack. Now, as you can see, these are the bodies I could dig up appropriately to match with the head sculpt. So we'll go from right to left and uh, you know, we'll just go through them one by one because each head does kind of come with a decent amount, believe it or not. So first off, we have uh, our lady here from our far right and we'll compare them. Bring them right up here. So this is a repaint of this. Uh, I did get this original one specifically for this head sculpt so the fact that they threw in another i didn't mind it looks pretty decent i mean it is the same sculpt but uh as you can see it's just here take a look at her real quick and you can see same sculpt but looks like two different people could be sisters or whatever but uh yeah and as we go through uh i'll go through all the heads and then i'll switch them because it's just a lot and they're kind of hard to pop she does come with a neck piece here but it's like gonna require you know a lot of heat to uh pop that out there but yeah just i really like this this is uh soft i like the uh wash they have in there is really really nice really really nice just well done well done so it comes with quite a few heads here that's number one number two have the dwarf he does come with the little neck piece to go in there so he could fit I know this isn't a dwarf body. I mean, technically it is. This is the Borier. But uh, I don't have any dwarves besides the, like, King Dwarf. And I got this head pack for this extra head also because of... Uh, I wanted to build my dwarf army. So it kind of makes no sense for me to put this head sculpt on it. But I feel like this matches pretty well. So I'll be popping that on there. Other than the hooves. But they're replaceable or interchangeable. The tail's interchangeable. So everything, the great thing about Mythic Legions are they are super customizable. So they they will uh, be able to uh, switch out. I will be able to swap out and kind of customize and make a new dwarf. But he doesn't, uh, does he have a wash? A little bit, not as much as the, uh, the first maiden there. But uh, yeah, just another great job. Perfect paint. Beautiful sculpts and paint. You uh, can't touch for horsemen with that. Is that a... Yeah, maybe there's a little bit of wash in there. They even did the other side. You know, they don't cheap out, not paint the back side of their figures or head sculpts. But yeah, I love the reflective shine on there. Very cool. Very cool. Can't wait to pop him on. Next is the Panther. Panther. Black Panther. <laughs> Whatever... Uh, you want to call it? I like this one a lot. It's got a little furry stuck to him, but yeah, this one's neat. He comes with the neck. He comes with a bit. He comes with the next uh, neck part there to kind of go over. You could see I'm going to put him on the, the body over there because that's the only real black skin tone body that would match this uh, body that I have, unfortunately. So yeah, so he comes with this first off. And he comes with the neck piece, which looks like it's a repainted, like, night, night neck. And then he comes with the uh, shoulders, I guess you could call these. Clavicle, <laughs> neck bone. But yeah, just look beautifully, perfectly painted. Very nice. I like that. It's not, uh, it's kind of coming through, but it's very bronzy. Uh, off camera it's very very nicely painted and he also comes with a tail so that's cool so i could totally change him into a completely different character and that's why i got these uh this heads pack because you know i'll get into it but when you you collect for so long i've been collecting mythic legions for over 10 years it's the vampire one this is not exactly the same head sculpt Obviously, I do have a few vampire bodies, but just the female one, so he's gonna have to go on there. Maybe it'll be a screaming head, or I could kind of put this on anybody really. The knights, you know, it could just be another knight, so can't go wrong. But this one again, another vampire just adds to your army, you know, you just pop and swap, and you have that extra what extra you need. You need an extra vampire, you need an extra dwarf. I'm sure they'll do this. Uh, it said head packs one. So does that mean they're going to do more heads pack? Hopefully. 
I mean, I'm, I'm down for that. You know, uh, like I said, I've been collecting for so long. I'd rather get a heads pack or an accessory pack that has like shoulders or a cool shield instead of buying a whole figure that I kind of already have just uh, repainted just because of their shoulders or they come with a shield I like or a weapon. You know, I'd rather get packs so I can change and customize the, uh, geez, over 50. I love this brand. There are over 50 figures I think I have of Mythic Legions. So, so many. Like, definitely, yeah, definitely a couple dozen. <laughs> so, definitely saves a, saves a bit of money. And it they're so customizable. I really love the spray around his eyes, his teeth. Perfect. Saves you money, makes them customizable. And, uh, yeah, makes uh, an old figure new again. Here's uh, Lucifer, <laughs> Lou, I guess. He's also with the neck. He painted Knight's neck. I like that they come with uh, necks and they're not just heads and they come with a little extra bits and pieces that they might have, but he's really well done. I don't have any red bodies, unfortunately. I didn't get the Red Hulk, the Red Hulk, <laughs> Red Orc, because, uh, yeah, I was like, what do I need a Red Orc for? I'm a Green Orc kind of guy, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop him on there. I think that'll look, I think that'll look decent. And finally, best of all, main reason why this one was purchased was for the Bog Goblin head sculpt. Oh my gosh, this thing is so excellent. Here, let me bring in Bog. The Bog Goblin is definitely top ten, if not top five, favorite Mythic Legions. Let's get the light a little closer here. Top. 10 top five mythic favorite mythic legion of all time i mean it's just so well done this is his original body i mean look at that paint and the rust they definitely don't paint them like this anymore and that is uh one of my complaints i will do a little negatives and we'll talk about the positives positives but one of the negatives is i mean this is an older figure and look how look how much detail and paint and wash is on this thing compared to like a newer figure that has nothing and i mean i know what you're saying well this might be just uh you know, he's a, he's a new soldier. He didn't see any battle yet. Okay, but has he left the castle? I mean, come on, there's no dirt on his shoes or anything. I mean, geez, he, did he just put it on brand new, right? Fresh from the blacksmith? I mean, come on, put something, throw something on there. They definitely have pulled back on the paint. Not saying they're slacking or lacking as you can see or cutting corners in any way when it comes to like the head sculpts or their figures in general but they have pulled back on the the extra weathering the extra detail there and that's what originally initially pulled me into mythic legions but moving on from that oh wow even his ear is better painted than this um the bog goblin I, the only thing i was disappointed about this bog goblin was his bio and his bio it's like oh they live they're like swamp uh, swamp frogs, you know, that, uh, are demonic. So their mouths open up and they're supposed to be, they have long tongues that like grab you like a frog. And they also spit like, uh, a green kind of gel acid, similar to X-Men's toad, you know, Marvel toad, how he spits that. So similar to that, it's like a corrosive, slimy acid. And when I got this, I was like, oh man, his, his mouth doesn't open or anything. I thought, when I first bought it, that his mouth might open at least, because, I mean, their whole, their whole shtick is their mouth, their frog, you know, it, mouth doesn't, so I was disappointed that his mouth didn't open, that was my only disappointment about this figure, again, before I go over it again, so the fact that they finally made this head sculpt with it, I know I'm going on about it, but it's, uh, wow, it's really better painted over there, too, let's go, uh, top side. This was my main reason for uh, buying this. Or I could pop this on, like, the Boreer body and have two Bog Goblins, you know? It, it, it works either way. This could be an alternate head sculpt for this character, or I could have another one on another... Because this is kind of a dwarf-ish body as well, so... Which I don't mind. That's fine. And it makes it easier for me to customize. We're looking at the top there. In the back. The sword's kind of in the way. Yeah, but even the weapons, like... <laughs> same deal with that but again not that they're painted bad it's just they they lack from what they originally did not with this head sculpt though not with this head sculpt and he comes with uh, a bit more which i actually want to try putting on that one first his tongue does come out you kind of got to give it a yank there but i didn't even need to heat it up 
Dude, look at that thing. Ugh, it looks so real. Like, you would not want that licking you. Like, when Jabba licked Lei, it's like, ugh, no, get that away from me. So it comes with an extra tongue, which is cool. Oh, is that a paint? Yeah, oh. What is that there? A little scuff, a little... You know what that probably happened? They do throw all the extra accessories in just like a plastic sandwich Ziploc. So I bet one of the other accessories knocked into this and chipped the paint off. That stinks. And again over here. Goodness, and I was just praising you, Fall Hossman. I was just praising you. And this is how you do me? That kind of looks like a cobra head. Nice. This is pliable. And bendable. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Because this is the main reason I bought this, but... Again, well, this is one of the reasons why this is being my this is my last uh, four horseman purchase. I'll get into that, but um, in a bit. Yeah, the tongue fits in there. It's very nice, and yeah, that looks fantastic. That's so great. And he also comes with this helmet. Look at that thing! Holy cow, that's painted well. And this is my first time really taking it in and uh really appreciating all the details like look at that like how do you go from plain guy over there and do all the cracks and paint all the cracks and uh crevices in there jeez i never thought for horseman to be uh, inconsistent cars reminds me of a cockroach Ugh. that fits on there perfect really really cool now, I'm dying to know if this fits on this. It should, right? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, Four Horsemen. All right. See, one little thing. Not too bad. I won't, uh... That's not... Li the little thing is not the reason why I, uh... Stop buying from them. It's nothing, like, really too, too bad. But, uh... That looks great. That looks great. All right. Let's take a second and let's switch these head sculpts. Uh, let's see uh, if I can do this here. Okay. I hope that worked. My warlock training's rough. But head swapped. And they look pretty, pretty good. A lot of them, uh, they actually came off and swapped a lot easier. I didn't actually need to heat up any of them. The only thing I needed to use pliers on her to uh, just pop her neck off. But other than that, the uh, new head sculpt's neck. Meaning, but uh, yeah, I mean, take a look for yourself. Judge for yourself. I think they look uh, pretty good. Let's start with uh, left to right, way we came in and uh, out. So we got our uh, bog goblin here with his new head and... Yeah, let's give him a bit of a pose. Get his sword in there. But yeah, I think uh came out pretty well. They're pretty... Uh, I'm really pleased with this head pack. It's like all my old figures are new again. And that's what I'm talking about. That will... I will definitely buy more head packs if, you know, I have the bodies and I need the heads. Because I don't want too many repaints. You know, I, I didn't have a lot of these characters. I didn't have a... Uh, you know, a, a panther or the demon guy. I don't have too many male vampires or dwarves. So, and I definitely want the bog goblin. And the girl it was a repaint, but you know, out of one out of six, that uh, a repaint isn't uh, isn't too bad. So, as long as they're not too many repaints and they're new sculpts, like uh, like this bog goblin here, I'm definitely down for some shoulder packs and uh, weapon packs. You know, kind of like um looting in uh warcraft skyrim uh <laughs> whatever uh uh scrolls demon souls games and all kinds of rpgs just yeah like looting you know like get a a loot box but i'm definitely down for that articulation's a little tight and that's uh the only the only other reason why i stopped with mythic legions is because the articulation. I mean, this is an older figure, but they can't do the Jedi lightsaber holding Lion-O 
two hand holding on the sword. They they just can't do it. And I understand they're in armor, and I have let that pass for you know a decade. But uh, you know it's okay to cheat a little. Just give me a little bit more. Just I don't need them to move like Spider Man, but I definitely need to a little bit of an upgrade. And like, well, you know, it might ruin the aesthetic. But uh, you know, there's so much good design with double joints now where you don't need to use those ugly pins anymore that uh it's totally doable because i'm just getting a little you know i just need a little bit more after buying so much i mean their prices are great if their prices have to go up a little bit that's fine but uh yeah they definitely need to upgrade the articulation what oh, this guy's arm came off i forgot that happens a little qc the qc here and there that's kind of another reason but that's a horse of a different color and i don't want to beat a dead horse but uh but yeah, other than those two negatives, other than the, you know, the pulling back on the paint and just the lack of articulation, everything about else about Four Horsemen's great. I mean, like I said, I'm a 10-year buyer, so, you know, I'm a little, I'm looking for something a little bit new, some more upgrades other than just new sculpts. I need, I need something a little bit more. You know, the heads are, are fine, but again, I'm not, I can't buy a new figure just for a new head sculptor or just shoulders or a weapon. The packs are fine, but it definitely needs something new. Give me something new and uh, I'm definitely down for it. I mean, there's Cosmic Legions, which are cool, but you know, they can't kind of have the same articulation. I know I'm going on and on and again, but uh, I mean, other than that, if you haven't gotten a Four Horsemen figure yet and you're on the fence, do it. If you're on the fence because you don't want to get into a hole because you're afraid to get into a hole, you're correct. Don't do it because it is a hole. You can't just buy one. You're going to be like, shoot, I'm going to, you're going to like, the, I, I rarely guarantee things. So if I put my guarantee on something, it's, you're going to like it. And I guarantee if you're on the fence about Mythic Legions and you, you're not sure if you're going to like, I guarantee you're going to like them. You're going to like them a lot. And you're going to like them too much. And if you don't want to fall into a hole, again, don't do it because you're going to like them. I guarantee if you. If, if, you, if you've never got a four horseman figure or you're, you're still just new with it, you know, keep going, keep collecting and, uh, and keep doing it. But as for the older buyers, we need something new, but new buyers go in like you're missing out not getting these. I mean, they're definitely... I'll bring in maybe another figure to show how great they go with uh, other figures. But yeah, all right, enough about that. Let's, uh, this guy came out great, as you can see. I'm really uh, happy how uh, great he looks. Uh, his neck popped in right in there. Again, everything just popped right in real quick. Took uh, less than five minutes to switch, was it six figures? So yeah, I can't complain about that. Can't complain. That's. Uh, that's pretty good. Their custom customizability, custom ability. I, I can't say the right word, but you know what I mean? They're super customizable and uh, you can make new figures out of them, which is great. So you don't really need to buy the same figure to army build over and over again. Like you don't have to buy the same guy. You know, you could buy, they, they have lots of different vampires and this is a good screaming. Not too much to do with this one. Just like, no, you can suck your blood. Uh, Wow, he's got range. Oh, he's like not even on. <laughs> That's why. There we go. Well, it's not quite popped on, but Don, he's not going anywhere. So, yeah, vampire lord looks great. Let's uh, move him over and get to Panthor. One thing about this, though. He's got no hole in his butt, so you can't, there's no place to put the tail, <laughs> which I'm bummed. It stays in there when I go like that, so it'll be fine for pictures, shelf presence, and, and uh, things like that, but any kind of posing, and yeah, it's, it's going down. But other than that, I, I don't mind the hooves, actually. It doesn't look that bad. Here, let's try and take this off and see how he looks. Yeah, okay. He kind of looks a little... I was thinking he looked too broad-shouldered, but now he looks a little too big-headed. big, big -headed. Let's pop this back on. And... I don't even need to use his extra neck piece, actually, with this body. I mean, the black matches, for the most part. This is a bit glossy, and that's more matte. But I think it works. You know, give him a player, pair of uh, 
black bat wings and uh, maybe get some horns on there. And you got yourself a Zod custom, especially with the hooves right there from uh, Nosferatu Zod from Berserk, the the other general Zod. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that works great. That works really well, really well. Here comes the uh, the dwarf man, and I was right. He does uh, match this armor. His little headpiece there matches that really well. I mean, yes, the hooves do uh, do need to go, but maybe he's like, uh, what's that from Narnia, Mr. Tumnus? Mr. Tumnus? Uh, I'm not saying that right, but yeah. <laughs> Again, uh, oh yeah, the hooves. See, the hooves got dirt on there. Yeah, a little bit of dirt. I mean, he's clean for the most part, but. It doesn't look like he's hiding inside uh, the armory. You know what I mean? Like, it's seen some march. Like, the guys march around. You know, you get some mud, some kick up. Like, the vampire lord, he's a little too clean. He's a little too clean. I love the details. I mean, look at that paintwork. I can't complain. But, like, he needs a little dirt at the bottom of his tavern, his cape there. You know, a little little dirt at the bottom of the boots. But, yeah. Oh, and his neck, uh, his neck piece fit on there just fine. Be careful with the... Uh, the dwarves or any bearded character though because the beards can break off if you if you kind of kind of if you try to pop this on there by the beard you can possibly snap the beard off it doesn't feel flimsy you know i can move his head by the beard but that pressure you may break the beard off also with the horns you want to be careful with as well but again they don't feel flimsy at all but uh yeah he looks great oh man this is just uh this worked out great. And last but not least, Red here, who uh, she's been through the fires, the holy fires, or <laughs> demonic fires, I guess this just makes sense, holy fires, but she's been changed, reborn again. Love this figure and her armor and the color, paint work. Ah, Four Horsemen, you've outdone yourselves once again. I do look forward to collecting things like this with the uh, head sculpts. And uh, hopefully uh, they continue to do them. Like I said, head packs one. Hopefully we get more head packs. That'd be fantastic. Some uh, more weapon packs, armor packs, armor packs next. With maybe just a chest piece or something. Or pauldrons, shields, decorative shields. Uh, decorative shields and pauldrons. And maybe uh, helmets, you know, similar to like Warcraft. You know, like a drop. Like, oh, you got new shoulders. Excellent. You know what I mean? So that'd be sweet. All right, hope you all enjoyed, and until next time.